Hello everybody and welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. As you can see right in front of us that we have a Dell computer. Now you may be asking yourself, why Chris, do you have a Dell computer sitting in front of your camera and why do you have it? Why do you have two of these? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. And today we're going to find out that very thing. So in this video, that's what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be building a PFSense firewall. The computer already has PFSense on it, but I needed, I went to Micro Center with my lovely wife yesterday and we got two of these and then I got some other stuff for a project. These were $15 a piece. And as you see, IECM helped us yesterday. And so we're going today to get into this. So let's just get right into it. Thank you all for watching and let's just go. So in this video, I needed, I've been looking at a lot of um, devices, right? I've been looking at, I've had a lot of trouble with my internet being unreliable. So for instance, the latencies gets high. Like the other day I had my, my uh, firewall completely took a crap. It just stopped working. I don't know why. And I unplugged it, plugged it back in. It worked for a little while, then it did it again. So I decided, and I've got like two other routers on top of that, and they both suck. I'm like, what a, what a better way to do this than to just build it myself. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so this computer, now this computer, I'm going to tell you a backstory on this. My wife went to a yard sale, sent me a picture of this and said, honey, do you want this? And I said, well, not really. But then I thought about it a little more and I said, well, maybe I do want it. So I said, yes, go ahead and get it. It was $10. So this is what this video is really about is you can build a good router for for pennies on the dollar it is crazy how cheap you can get stuff now you don't need this is eight gig of ram has a pretty decent processor in it you don't need much you just need i would i would recommend at least eight gig of ram to get this run correctly and get it to run good if especially if you're going to be doing um intrusion prevention intrusion detection you're going to need a lot more ram so uh this is a dell optiplex 990 i believe it was built in like 20 15 or something like that so it's it's a little older but it'll serve the purpose of what we wanted to do so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to unbox this let me get it here in the camera view now the reason i got this specific one if let me get it up next to the camera see there how it says low profile it's got a low profile and a full profile um bracket so as you can see this is the full profile so what we're going to do is we're going to install the low profile bracket because this is a a smaller oh sweet dude and it comes with a little disc that's kind of cool now the only thing that concerns me a little bit is that maybe this will not um work because of the I, I, what i'm afraid of let me go grab my screwdriver is that it won't work correctly i mean it, it's my fear is that the oh shoot and i am in no way sponsored by i fix it but hey if y'all want to send me a kit fine i'm fine with that i love these kits man i bought this one at best buy for 30 bucks been awesome so as you can see there are let me get it in the camera view see there are two here there you go there are two screws that we need to take out and then we're going to remove these screws right here we're going to remove these and then we're going to put the low profile bracket on once we get these screws removed there we go there's your bracket it's a full height bracket i don't know how good these are going to be i don't know you got to be careful because I don't know if they're going to be compatible with the, um, like, I don't know if they're going to be compatible with this motherboard or with the OS. I, I don't know. We're going to find that out here in a little bit. But if this doesn't work, I can always use, like, OpenSense or something like that. But I, I, I really like PFSense, so, and it is an open source firewall. And it works very well. I've used it for years and it's been it's been a really good one. So see now we're getting this one in. There that one's in. Let me grab the other one that I dropped. Another thing you might want to look at is if you drop a screw, sometimes it's almost impossible to see them. But that's okay. Okay, so here's our other bracket. Okay. So now we're gonna put these into a PCI Express slot. So we have an a um X4. So we need to remove this one right here. Let me get over here where I can actually get to this thing. Here we're gonna switch sides, y'all. Switch sides. So we're gonna put this one in this x4 slot right dang there we go that one's in there holy crap that ain't going nowhere and okay then we're gonna once that's done now we gotta unbox this one see i was gonna do a both unboxings and this but i couldn't help i had to open it up quick i had to open it up so we're gonna open this one up now you may be asking yourself why do you have these well the reason why is because one is for land one is for wan that's why so we're taking 
you need i would recommend two separate nicks for this because we want to physically separate the traffic is what we want to do i, I would not recommend like i've virtualized a firewall before i've virtualized pf sense and vs and esxi i virtualized i've virtualized pretty much anything everything that you can think of another thing i would like to do at some point is i have this mac right that y'all y'all seen in my images you can see the keyboard back for it for it back here it's just out of the frame but that that keyboard is um that keyboard is basically that computer is basically a monster it has three terabytes of storage now it's not all ssd it's only like 120 gig of storage but i would like to run proxmox on it now you may be saying to yourself chris that's a little bit crazy yeah it's a little bit crazy i'll admit here's what i know for a fact y'all is that if you can if you can find new ways to do things like i did a video quite a while ago probably about a year ago and i did this video where i was looking at running uh, proxmox on a flash drive yes running proxmox off of a flash drive now shout out to it unicorn my buddy Damien uh, he has a video he has a uh, a really fast one on his website which I think I'm gonna probably end up getting so I I really like supporting him I bought a coffee cup from him I don't have it with me now but I do I did buy one so then we're going to put this in so we'll just slide that in yep 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 I think there's like a little latch mechanism down there okay there we go okay they are installed if we check the back you will see that they're oh, come on there they are now now that we have that done we're going to take our brackets let me put all this stuff up in my little drawer i got a little drawer all this stuff here again always remember everybody clean up your workspace don't leave a darn mess everywhere clean stuff up there we go so now that we have that now we're going to switch over to a little bit a little bit different view i'm going to hook everything up plug it into my network and turn it on to get it up and running and then we'll the next place you'll see this is on the um the computer my desktop so let's just get right into it y'all be patient and i'll move over to my desktop thank you and we're back everybody and as you can see on the screen we have pfsense up and running and i am telling you it is so fast to move through things it's very very quick okay so the total this cost of this build cost me so you figure about fifteen dollars for the next each it's 30 plus another 10 so for 40 bucks and the hard drive that i had for like 10 bucks or whatever i i had it in my stock so for 50 bucks i built an entire firewall from scratch and made it work and it works beautifully so since, so to let y'all know, since I switched to PFSense, I've had zero network issues, none. I set the DNS up correctly, as you saw. Well, as you'll see in the next video that I've got coming out soon, I, I've already edited it. It's ready to go, but I forgot I had this one, so I did this one first. So it, as you can see by this, it works perfectly. Uh, the DNS works good. The filtering works good. Everything works just like it should. So my advice to y'all is have a plan when you build stuff like this. Like don't do not do this off the fly. Make sure you have a plan. Write it out. Draw it out how you want your network to be. And make sure that you document everything as well. And so everybody, that is the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray right now that you would reach out to me in the comments or send me an email at cherylteknology@gmail.com, and I will be glad to debate, talk, pray, or listen to you. Whichever you need, I will try to do it. And until next time, everybody, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.